Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the joint Gaussian PDF of two random variables x and y and derive the marginal PDFs of the individual random variables x and y. Here, the random variables x and y are correlated with the correlation quotient equal to rho. So, given the joint PDF of the random variables x and y as follows, that is f of x comma y is equal to 1 by 2 pi into sigma 1 sigma 2 square root of 1 minus rho square exponential of minus x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 whole square minus 2 into rho into x minus mu 1 y minus mu 2 divided by sigma 1 sigma 2 plus y minus mu 2 by sigma 2 whole square divided by 2 into 1 minus rho square. So, this is the joint Gaussian PDF of two random variables x and y where x and y are correlated. Or in other words, it is a general Gaussian PDF of general joint Gaussian PDF or bivariate Gaussian PDF. Now, our goal is to derive the marginal PDF of the individual random variables x and y. So, the marginal PDF is given by fx of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity fx comma y of x comma y dy. So, by integrating uh, by integrating out the variable y, we can determine the marginal PDF of x from this original PDF. So, in order to accomplish this task, we basically use the technique known as completing the square. Basically, we can clearly see that here we have term a square and 2ab and we want to uh, add and subtract the term b square for this square term. That is, the exponent for the joint PDF can be rewritten as follows y minus mu 2 divided by sigma 2 whole square. This is the a squared. This is the a squared term. And the next we have minus 2 ab term that is 2 times rho into x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 into y minus mu 2 divided by sigma 2. So, this is the 2a and b. And now we add b squared term that is rho into x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 whole square and minus rho into x minus mu 1 by sigma 1 whole square plus the original uh, term for corresponding to the x term that is x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 whole square. And we also have minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus rho square. I mean exponent term in the joint PDF. So, now writing this term as a minus b whole square we have y minus mu 2 divided by sigma 2 minus rho into x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 whole square. So, these three terms can be combined into this term. And the next we have plus 1 minus rho square into x minus mu 1 by sigma 1 whole square into minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus rho square. Now, this term can be rewritten as, now by comparing this square term with the following standard uh, standard exponent of a Gaussian PDF, we get sigma 2 tilde square is equal to sigma 2 square into 1 minus rho 2 square. That is, it should be equal to sigma 2 into 1 minus rho square. And also, the mutual term that is the uh, 2ab term in this component and this component should be equal. So, we should have mu 2 divided by sigma 2 square till sigma 2 tilde square is equal to mu 2 divided by mu 2 divided by sigma 2 square into 1 minus rho square. That is sigma 2 square sigma 2 square 1 minus rho square. And the term from this term I mean term from this 2ab term we have plus rho into x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 sigma 2 into 1 minus rho square. This 2 ab term from the square. Therefore, upon simplification and using this definition of sigma 2 tilde square, we have mu 2 is equal to mu to mu 2 tilde is equal to mu 2 plus rho into sigma sigma 2 by sigma 1 into x minus mu 1. So, so, now by using these two definitions in this uh, exponent term, we have 
y minus mu2 of x mu2 tilde of x divided by sigma2 tilde square and the other term is plus x minus mu1 by sigma1 whole square. And now we can rewrite the joint PDF as 1 by square root of 2 pi into sigma1 exponential of minus x minus mu1 by sigma1 whole square. That is this term. And also now we have 1 by square root of 2 pi into sigma2 tilde into exponential of minus of y minus mu2 tilde of x divided by 2 into sigma2 tilde square. Of course, a square here. So, this is the joint PDF of, of x comma y where this is f of y given x and this is f of x. No? The, joint, the marginal PDF fx of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity of f x comma y of x comma y dy. And now this can be rewritten as integral minus infinity to plus infinity fx of x that is the first term into the integral that is f f y given x of y given x dy. And since this is independent of y, this is equal to and this is integration of the whole PDF that is f y given x of y given x and the integration, I mean the area under the PDF is 1. So, this should be equal to fx of x. Therefore, the marginal PDF fx of x is equal to this PDF, which is basically a Gaussian PDF with a mean mu1 and variance sigma1 square. And by using a similar process, we can also prove that fy of y is also equal to the Gaussian PDF with mean mu2 and variance sigma2 square. Thanks for watching.